I am confident this uh, pilot project, that this initiative of connecting people up to the GO station by TTC bus is going to be a success, that it's going to really help uh, while we continue to make other plans to serve this area better with transit. Now, that was Mayor John Tory talking about the new shuttle bus service that just launched today. It connects people from the Humber Bay Shores area, that's the area around Park Lawn and Lakeshore, with Mimico Station. One of the major complaints about this station is that it has a very small parking lot. Now, it's tough to see, but there, about an hour ago, this entire lot was rammed. You were not able to find a parking spot. Traffic has started to clear up as people have made their way home, but that has left thousands of people with no option than to either drive themselves downtown or take a 25 to 40 minute walk to the station. The hope is that this new shuttle bus will get more people on the go. The biggest thing is we'd like to get people out of the cars. And the only way to do that is we have better public transportation to the go. This is a project we've been working on for two years with a counselor. But the bus route is more of a band-aid instead of a big solution. Instead, residents are still waiting on the promise of a standalone park lawn go station slated to be built at the former Christie's plant location, which is now owned by First Capital. It's gone to the board. First Capital's at the board. There has been discussions with the city. This will be part of some, you know, hopefully some big solution. But the best thing, First Capital's came out. They've met with the community. They've, we put no pen to paper. We're here to listen. We, we want to be part of the solution, which is music to my ears and the community's ears. So it's going to take some time. I don't know what the board uh, timelines are going to be, but it, it's got to happen. It can't happen fast enough for my community. Now, the bigger unknown is the future of the waterfront transit reset. It's a line that's supposed to better connect Etobicoke with Union Station, stretching all the way from Long Branch straight to downtown. There's going to be some dedicated streetcar lanes, right-of-ways, and uh, streetcar signal priorities. Now, the mayor is hopeful that the plan will continue despite the recent election of a premier in government that has a tendency to prefer below ground transit to above ground solutions. We have a city council approved uh, network transit plan. Uh, we have uh, some statements made during the election uh, by the incoming government uh, later this week uh, that they will not only invest in transit, will, but will invest more in transit. Uh, they've indicated uh, a, a preference for uh, funding uh, subways. And I think the net result of all of that is we'll sit down together. And we have a premier coming in, uh, Doug Ford, who lives in Toronto and believes in building transit. A similar waterfront transit line was shelved with Doug Ford's brother Rob was the mayor of Toronto. Tory says he doesn't want to jump to any conclusions and plans to sit down with the incoming premier to promote city council's already approved transit vision. Doug Ford's office did not respond to a request for comment. Now, in the interim, the parking situation here at Mimico just got a lot tighter. The TTC has had to bar parking, removing about 50 spots from this stretch of street in order to ensure that the new shuttle bus can operate more efficiently.